Hey guys, it's Jen at The Wheelhouse Project and this is the second in my series of videos about doing some self-care and some healing techniques that you can do at home. I'm going to give you a little information on saging and clearing your space today because as you may know or may not know, the, the energy is obviously everywhere and I know sometimes I can literally feel the energy of a space when I walk into it. You can tell if there's been something negative going on, there's a negative feeling, maybe you feel something in the pit of your stomach, or maybe you can feel like excited energy or overstimulating energy when you walk into a space. So clearly there's energy, that a space holds energy, everything holds energy, to be honest. <laughs> but uh, a lot of times I can feel sort of the energy, I work at home, so I can feel the energy sometimes of the day or the work day or the energy of the people that I've talked to on the phone sort of bleeding into my space or maybe even to myself. So that's a whole separate thing is clearing yourself. But I find sometimes that when I clear my space, when I clear my home where I work and my office space, that I can fe also feel it in my body. So even if I've taken on some energy of some of the people during the work day or, or what's going on with work, that Sometimes just clearing my space will help me as well. I can feel it in my own body. But let's talk about what you can do to actually clear your space. What, what can you do to clear the energy of your space? Well, there's a lot of things that you can do without having anything. I'm gonna show you a few things, but without having anything, you can really say a prayer. You can intend to clear the space. You can, I mean, there's so many things. Like it's really about what you believe is possible, truly. And if you believe that you can you can clear your space and you can pray and you can I mean I don't know I have crystals around my house I have uh, different what do I have uh, rose quartz sorry I can't think of what it was rose quartz crystals around the corners of my home that was sort of something I set up when I first moved in it's kind of setting the intention for the space and clearing the space and setting a boundary of love around it but there's so many things you can do without ha purchasing anything and you can you could do things with crystals. But I'm gonna show you a few things, I'm getting sidetracked. <laughs> I'm gonna show you a few things that you can actually use that I do all week long, like multiple times during the week. And that is, I like to sage my house and there's different ways you can buy sage. You can buy sage like in a bundle like this and just burn the bundle. And you and when you light this, you, you, don't want a, you don't want to leave a flame. You just want it to be smoldering. So basically you wanna light it, you wanna let it kind of burn for a second and blow it out and let kind of let it smolder and let that sm use that smoke. I also like just plain old pieces of dried sage and I'll even buy sage in the grocery store. Sometimes I'll use it for cooking and whatever I have left over, I'll just hang it to dry and then I have dry pieces of sage. Uh, you can also use things like Palo Santo wood, if you've ever heard of that. They, I mean, they sort of have different properties and different purposes, so you might want to look that up. I don't know exact details of that, but I know people. some people don't like the smell or the excessive smoke of sage. So sometimes Palo Santo wood is a little bit more pleasing, but I think sage is more readily available. There's also some things like spray, a clearing spray. This is a, a room spray that someone someone came up with that has, a, basically it's distilled water, a little bit of uh, alcohol, and some essential oils and crystal essence. So someone's come up with this clearing spray, so you can use something like that. Maybe that's more preferential to you. Maybe you're sensitive to smoke. So this would be something you could use too. And really the purpose of it is, like I said, to clear the energy of the space. <coughs> Excuse me. But I do a couple other things too, and that is I like to I like to have a really nice book of matches when I'm doing my saging. I put it in a safe, dish, a safe fireproof dish, or not a plastic dish, don't do that. You know, use something maybe metal or a glass bowl perhaps, but something that is gonna be safe from the burning, the, you know, burning things in it. So keep that in mind too when you're burning, burning things. But I also, but I always basically pull out my book of matches and set my intentions for what I'm clearing. And again, you may not know exactly what you're clearing. You might just want to clear the house from the day, from the energy of the day, from your energy. Maybe you want to clear energy within you, something that you know you've taken on, some stressful situations that day, or something you're feeling in your body, but you don't know why. So set your intentions around what you want to clear. And 
if you don't know or you just want to say a simple prayer, that's fine too. Do whatever feels right for you. And then pull out your nice book of matches. I didn't pull mine out, but I have it right here. Like I pull out a nice book of matches. Like I have some pretty ones. And set, you know, set this on a flame for a second and then blow the flame out, let it smolder, put it in your dish and just carry it around. And sometimes I'll even say a prayer as I do it or I'll reaffirm the intention that I, that I had set and just say that as I walk through my house and I walk through kind of, I do it counterclockwise. I don't know that it matters. Maybe it does, <laughs> but I walk through my, my entire house and basically repeat the intention, say a prayer, whatever feels right to me in the moment. But I just do that light saging through the, through the whole place and wrap it up with a, with a short message of, you know, short prayer of thanks and blow the blow it out. And I actually run this underwater just to make sure that I'm keeping everything safe. But that's that's what I do. I mean, there's so many different ways you can do it, and, and there's not a right way or a wrong way. It's really what feels right to you. So don't get too caught up in what's the right way to do this. Just know that what you want to clear, set your intentions, say a prayer, whatever feels right to you. Obviously, do it all very carefully. We never want to mess with fire, and you know, and be unsafe about it. So, like I said, make sure that whatever you're putting your your sage in is a flame retardant type dish or bowl. And I would use something with edges so that if it rolls around while you're walking around, that it's kept contained. So that's that. I hope that helps. I know that personally, sometimes when I sage, I feel nothing. But I do. But I do notice something interesting. I've noticed that my dogs actually are more calm the evenings that I sage. So I've noticed it distinctly in them that it's calming to them. And on occasion, I've noticed that maybe a tightness in my own body feels better after I sage, even releases a bit. So sometimes I do feel it distinctly, sometimes I don't, but I often will also, in addition, do the saging like before I'm gonna do a bath or something, some other healing that I'm gonna do for myself, I will sometimes, usually actually, sage the whole house just to kind of set the tone for that and set the energy for the space. So that's what I do in my own ritual in saging, or like I said, you can use energy or the, the healing sprays, you can use Palo Santo wood, or you can just for that matter, set your intentions for your space and clear it that way. Maybe envision light around your space, maybe envision angels coming in and clearing it for you. Whatever, like I said, whatever it is, don't get too hung up on it, but you, you should definitely be frequently clearing your own space because energy does come into our space and we bring it in others you know if we have family they bring it in if we work at home that really brings a lot of different energy in phone calls with people can bring energy in so even neighbors like i live in an apartment people around that live in the other apartments around me their energy can certainly come into my space so you know boundary it set it, set intentions of love and light around it and do what feels best to you in terms of the clearing and what works for you so that's my healing message for today and self-care. So I hope that's helpful. Have a good one. We'll talk again soon. Bye guys.